All right, so everybody listen, okay? Raphael is going to talk about its game and application development. That's Hi. right up Yale's alley. <laughs> so thanks for the introduction. My name is Raphael Vicuña. I'm currently an eighth grader studying at Nolan Ryan Junior High, and I'm here today to talk and help you up in choosing your career path. So me, I'm an application developer myself, and I'm going to dwell deep into this subject as this PowerPoint presentation goes on. So I'm hoping that as I discuss about this in detail, that some of you may find this an interesting career to pick, and you might get a little bit of interest. Some background before I continue, this is me as a typical teenager. I love to play a lot of video games. Um, me and my dad occasionally play on the PS4. Uh, we visit theme parks a lot to enjoy the serenity of the of this scene, and also we love to watch a lot of movies. And one thing, we I'm a huge Minecraft fan, by the way. Who here plays Minecraft? Well, what well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's quite a lot of people play Minecraft. So we got something in common that that is. Now, how did it all start? So how did I become a game developer? Initially, my dad was the one who introduced me into game creation using Xcode, which is this icon over here. If any of you have a Mac or an Apple computer, you can download this Xcode um, software. It's for free. So my dad was the one who initially looked up YouTube videos on how to create simple iPhone games, but he couldn't pursue the career because he needed, he was way too busy with work, first of all, and also was busy with his family, so he had to drop the career as a whole. But don't, that left an impression on myself. I followed in his footsteps and I was able to create my first uh, game, which is Helicopter, which is this over here, which, by the way, that's a helicopter. It's, I don't think you can see it from the small screen. Um, and these are the obstacles that you need to avoid as you play the game. Um, the concept of the game is not really much home to write about. It's um, not as com it's not really complex, but it is addicting enough to keep people coming back to continue playing it. Um, what software can you use, and how can you start creating your own apps? Um, there's a lot of apps you can download on the internet, like Xcode, um, Eclipse, Game Maker Studio, and Unity 3D. These we call them IDEs, which stand for Integrated Development Environment. Xcode is an IDE that supports um, object programming languages such as Swift and Objective-C. If you're going to use Eclipse, you can also um, use it to code Java, and it's not limited to only Java. You can also have C Sharp and C++ um, if you're going to use Eclipse as your IDE to code. Um, other, my personal favorite on game engine are Get Unity 3D and Xco Xcode. So let's go to the next slide. Um, one of the contributing factors that made me pursue this career was that there are people who motivated me. They made it big on the internet. So I thought, why couldn't I do the same thing? Um, Mark Zuckerberg, I'm sure you all know who he is. He's the Facebook CEO, currently 38 years old, and he started um, developing Facebook at the age of 22. His net worth now is $66 billion US dollars. And there are also other inspirations like the Snapchat CEO or the Instagram CEO. All of them worked hard to get to the position they are in now. They are now living life to the fullest as a result of their hard work. Despite encountering hardships in whatever they're, they're facing, none of that made them give up. They worked and worked until they got successful. So I hope one day to be, this, I hope one day to be like them. Um, one thing I'd like to discuss as well is my YouTube channel, which I, I upload daily programming tutorials. So if whoever wants to kind of, whoever finds this interesting, my YouTube channel will be a massive help to all of you. Um, I'm sure we all use YouTube to watch funny videos, people doing funny stuff, movies, even training videos as well. How uh, my YouTube channel, when I started it when I was 10 years old, I initially only recorded Minecraft videos. The, my um, team at school, which is a small group of friends, we recorded some simple Minecraft uh, videos and e eventually we turned it into Minecraft movies. I, the way my channel got popular was I advertised it to many people around the internet looking for actors to join. Um, my, as a result of that, my subscriber count went up to 2,000 subscribers and I am 
and I am also earning money from my YouTube videos as well. Hmm. So I, the, the, how I learned how to earn money from my YouTube videos was I found out a way that you can monetize your videos. What that is, is if you've seen videos with advertisements on, your, on the middle or in the beginning of the videos, that is a result of their videos being monetized. Um, each each um, click that a user is watching your videos will send daily revenue to your account and it will accumulate over time. So right now I have um, a considerable amount of money saved up on my YouTube channel. So how far did my channel go in terms of success? I am very proud to say it, it has been an immense success in my opinion. I did, now, instead of only uploading gaming videos, I have extended my knowledge sometime around 2014. I have uploaded now daily programming tutorials, which relates to Java, not only limited to Java, but Objective-C and Swift. Those are the programming languages that I um, teach daily in my YouTube channel. So we're on to the main topic now, and what is game development? So, simple, by the name itself, game development is the process of developing games. How you can create your own games depends on what you're trying to target. So, let's say you're targeting the iOS um, fan base, or if you're targeting the Android, you will have to get be proficient in more than one programming languages. So, targeting <coughs> iOS, for example, you will need to learn how to use Xcode, or you will need to um, know how to port from Game Maker Studio to an iOS application. That is, um, other ways you can port your app to other platforms like Android or um, other operating systems, you will need to use other IDEs like Eclipse or Unity 3D. So what is my first game? So my first game that I published on the App Store is this, Fruit Nightmare. This game was made in 2016. I was a, I was a beginner programmer at the time, so the concept wasn't very impressive yet, so cut me some slack. I was still starting out. The, the game is very simple. Just simply catch the falling fruits from the falling trees and you have to drag a basket around and avoid the um, grenades. It's, um, it is fun for the toddlers, so if you have any young siblings here, they will probably like to play this. Um, as my programming knowledge increased, I made quality games like Limited Time, Expanding Circle, which by the way, my, my little brother goes to the school and he tested out my um, Expanding Circle game. So, He's basically our beta um, tester. Um, how am I earning from my games? So since these games are free on the App Store, how am I earning from them? And that is the same concept as my YouTube channel. I, I have connected my account with AdMob, so, so I have programmed ad, my um, ad games to show um, ad, ads from AdMob. So AdMob is sending the advertisements to my um, app itself. And just like YouTube, it will accumulate over time if your game is addicting enough. So, to keep users coming back to keep playing your game, make sure it is an addicting game to play. Um, the game, so the games I have published so far, I have four in total on the App Store. All for free, by the way. So if any of you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can download it after this presentation is done. Um, they are limited time, expanding circle, and this game, Emo Jump, if, who here plays Mr. Jump or Geometry Dash? Oh. So, that, that is good because I have, the next slide is going to contain a promotional video, so whoever doesn't play Geometry Dash, there is no worry because you'll see how the game functions. But to those who have played those games before, you will, um, you will find this very sim similar as I based my game concept of those two apps. Um, where am I getting my game ideas? This is a really important question because you can, you can be a proficient programmer, you can know how, to, how all of this works, but Without a game idea, you won't, you won't get anywhere because you don't know what you're trying to create. Where I personally get my game ideas can be dependent on the mood or dependent on, <coughs> or on my emotions or whatever the environment I'm in. So say I'm watching a movie, for example, and a scene pops up, that can um, contribute to a, a developing idea in my head or that can also range from a peaceful environment or I could simply be thinking and then an idea will randomly just pop up. What I do is, since I have an imaginative mind, computer's notepad, which is a good habit because if you have all these ideas flowing through your head, it's good to keep track of all of them. So not only for this particular career, but in your all, all in your lives as well. Now, where is the fun in developing? So this is what I'm excited to tell you. Where is the fun in developing apps? If you have all these imaginations in your head, it is good to execute that idea with programming. So. 
programming is literally endless. You do not, you do, yeah, you can create anything with programming. So it is one of the stuff where the only limit is your imagination. Another fun thing is it gives you a sense of accomplishment once you finally finish an app for the first time. It's a very elating feeling, basically. Now, as I stated earlier, my, my email jump game had a promotional video which is also on my YouTube channel if you want to see it yourself. Um, if you want to see how the game works, you can watch. So I'm going to play now. Oop. Okay, I need to make the video load up. Just click the black screen. Yeah. There we go. So if you played Geometry Dash before, that's how it goes. Each level is also put in the video. <laughs> I'm addicted to Mr. Jump, which is very similar to this game, so, I mean, developing the levels are still difficult because I have to constantly test out and go back and fix any glitches, so, developing the game well, is, is a mixed bag. It's well, both fun and also challenging, but the reward was worth it. Um, next slide. Now we're on to the next um, thing that falls under the same umbrella, application development. Um, developing applications, um, it's the same as developing games, but here we are going to be referring to apps that improve people's everyday lives. Um, they can range from a simple life motivation boosting app, um, could be a QR code scanner, could also be a simple alarm clock, or anything relative to improving the user's life. The first app I published, showed this the first app that is, that is not a game, was this. So you've seen the symbol at least once in your life. This is the QR code. And uh, what my um, app is supposed to do is supposed to enable your cameras uh, your phone's camera and you can scan that symbol and it will pop up a link on your phone to visit on the web you can visit in Safari or Google Chrome in addition to that I've also made it so that instead of only scanning a QR code you can also generate your own QR code so it's a two-in-one app that some teachers and my even some teachers at my school use it it's beneficial for their jobs it makes it easier how I initially, how I came up with this idea was uh, my my mom she was she got a um, form and she had a QR code that we needed to scan. One of the apps that we used was way too complicated and it had all these options that we didn't want. My goal was to make this the simplest uh, QR code scanner you could find and I made the UI very friendly to use. And and um, initially the app was supposed to be only for our family, so I created the. It took me only three minutes to make this application. Um, it was supposed to only be for my family to use, but I decided to get it out because I thought other people could also benefit from using it. So that, that officially became my first um, app that I, that I made. My second app, which is my latest in all, my latest one, I published it just a month ago, is Cheer App. This app is, meant, this app is a life motivation boosting app, and its intention is to inspire and bring positivity to your life, like, there are um, insp many inspirational quotes that I that we found on the internet, and we put them in our app, which will flash as you press the button. We also have 12 relaxing sounds as our first option, so you will see all of these options if you first download the app. 
and you load it up for the first time. That if I'm looking at images and not your cup of tea, you can look at meditational videos and motivational videos as well. So I've made sure to include that. Um, why would I create all of this for free? So if, I, if my intention is to earn um, revenue, why create them all for free? Because I'm still um, new to the market, I'm getting familiar with how, um, how things work, and I am so it, it, it's not really a matter if I made it um, paid or not because as I have stated before, we are using AdMob as our ad network. So despite the app being free, we are still earning the revenue on either way. And what am I doing now to improve my knowledge and skills? Um, so I'll be humble here and say I do not know every single thing about programming. So I may be proficient at a lot of languages, but we still have a lot to learn. Um, the way I improve my knowledge and skills, I, um, my knowledge is self-taught, so I love to learn by myself. But don't, you don't have to copy the way I do it, okay? So that's the way I do it. Some of you may learn better going to school, or some of you may learn better with someone else teaching you, or even learn better the way I do. So it boils down to whatever you find um, personally comfortable the way you learn. That's the best way you can make progress. Now, we have another promotional video to show you. This is the Cheer app, my latest app. Um, it, it is full of positive messages and has a lot of, has a lot of um, good quotes. I think you all should um, see it early in your life. Be at the end of the slide, all the details will be at the end. Um, okay, so it's time to wrap up the show. Um, what am I getting out of all of this? And the way I'm, the way I'm getting, what, what I'm getting out of all of this is that not only are my family very impressed of the accomplishments, that also rings true to my principal at my school, my teachers, and our relatives in the Philippines as well. I see myself about well, ten years or five years from now as a successful um, business owner and. I also see myself as a wealthy person. But what I really hope to see myself is as an inspiration to many young scholars for many years to come. Um, one of the best advices I can impart to the graduates here are that you do not have to wait until college to start earning. Make the most of what you have now, utilize your resources, and um, start, earn, or start um, doing what you can now and don't live a life full of regret. If this is a personal question for me, if I could get a chance to go back to the past, would I change anything? The answer to that is a no. I'm, I'm content with what I've done, I, um, I'm, I have no regrets, and I hope that um, all of you also follow, do the same thing. Now, what else am I doing right now aside from YouTube, school, game, and application development? So, I also forgot to mention, I'm also a music fan here, so who here loves rock music? You, what's your favorite band? Okay, well, I'll just say my, one of my favorite bands are Green Day. And if you've heard of, heard of Green Day before? Oh, you, okay. So, okay, so yeah, that, so that wraps up the show. My last words, which I really cannot stress out enough, and that is, work until you no longer have to introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, now, you want, to, you want to know my YouTube channel, so that's over here. XX Raphael Productions, which you can check at home or you can check right now if you want. And that's my Skype if you want to contact and ask me questions. 
and my Twitter account if you want to follow any updates. And that's, again, our website, which is listed down in the bottom below. All right, that's it, folks. Now that can be relative. If the game is simple, you can take easier. But um, if the game is complex, then that will also take more time. Depends on um, how fast you um, how fast you do it, how much time you dedicate into doing it. Uh, that would be email jump because not my um, a lot of students at my school actually play my game too. It's, you can see the enjoyment in their faces. It's elating. So any more? No more questions. Oh, you. How do you say your name? R A F A E L. Thank you.